Greetings from Brisbane, Australia. My name is Tony Duke. My role with the Regenerative Cultures and Resilient Communities Program is as the community and cultural development worker, and I bring a perspective from outside the university and academic framework. It is with this in mind that I've been asked to share some thoughts on the importance and role of having an independent NGO partner mediating the relationship between the university and the community. For a university working in the development space, it is important to be ever mindful of the power and the privilege that we bring into the program. This does not matter if you're working with a Latin American or African orphanage or a Southern Ohio county or a disadvantaged urban community in a city like Columbus or Cincinnati. When we go in to work with a community, we are often going in for a discrete time period to achieve a defined outcome. For many marginal communities, they do not necessarily have the breadth of experience and internal capacity to negotiate and maintain the power differential and assert their needs over that of the outsider who is coming to solve a problem. I have, over many years, struggled with how often a community will only tell me what they think I want to hear rather than what they need to say. A local NGO partner with an existing relationship with the community will have the advantage of knowing the people and the culture and ideally have a high level of trust and understanding of community priorities. As an outsider coming into and leaving a community, a local NGO partner helps us to ensure that our intention and vision is positioned into the greater and ongoing development needs of the community and not just about meeting our own need. It is imperative to embed a level of accountability of our own practice into the role and the relationship that we have with the NGO partner. The acceptance of the realisation that we come and go also speaks to the role that the NGO can have in negotiating and maintaining relationships with other local partners and stakeholders, including government and statutory agencies, local businesses, neighbouring villages or communities who have undertaken or who aspire to similar programs, as well as local tradespeople and suppliers. The NGO partner should have experience and some training in the development sector and have the demonstrated capacity to take on the role. It can be easy to get seduced by the talk, especially, especially if we are in an environment that is foreign to us, whether local USA or international. The Regenerative Cultures and Resilient Communities Program is currently working to develop an assessment matrix for identifying and assessing NGOs. There are many variables when working with a community or a village that unless you have the expertise within your team, is best managed through bringing a locally based NGO partner into your team as a full and equal member. It is worth noting that from the earliest stages in negotiating and understanding that all agreements and understandings are written and agreed. When working cross-culturally, especially if it includes working with languages other than English, it is of value to everyone to document, translate and share agreements as you move forward into the project and through the project. The independence of the NGO partner can also be of value if there is a dispute or misunderstanding between the university and the community. I also encourage that you develop a memorandum of understanding and agreement with both the NGO partner and the community, detailing what each of you bring as well as the timeline for delivering and the introduction of your exit strategy. It is important from the outset to acknowledge openly with the community that you are there for a time-bound purpose, highlighting the need for the community to regain their authority and take ownership of the outcome. And it's also important there is a clarity on the expectation that does not encourage dependency. I hope these thoughts are of some value to you in your work and that you enjoy and learn something from this presentation on the Regenerative Cultures and Resilient Communities team. If you have any questions or would like to discuss anything, I can be contacted via email. Thanks for this opportunity to share with you all.